What is up everybody? I would just like to take a second here and tell you that I am teaming up with some of my fellow YouTubers, Mr. Beast, Mark Rober, both very good friends of mine, working for a great cause, Team C's. What it is is you donate. For every one dollar that you donate, one pound of garbage will be cleaned up out of our oceans. So just one dollar, one pound of garbage. If you want to help, go to Team C's. I will leave a link down in the description. Go to Team C's. Help me, all us YouTubers, Mr. Beast, Mark Rober, Phase Rob, Darman, all of us are helping to contribute to clean up our oceans, get all the garbage out of our oceans, all the plastics, everything that's affecting wildlife out in the oceans. This is a good cause, looking to raise $30 million by the end of the year. It can happen, even if you just donate $1, that's one pound of garbage that's going to be taken out of our oceans. So go to Team C's and donate. Thanks, guys. Good afternoon, everybody. How are you doing? This afternoon, I think I'm going to pressure wash a little bit of this carpet out here in my screen room. As I showed you before, I've got some stains out here right at the edge. <clears throat> where, Because uh, the water still backs up from this channel because that side over there is not clear again. i got to clear it out again. Water backs up. It sits there when it rains real heavy. Got the little mold stain going on i know that does come off because i did it over here um, i'm going to set up my pressure washer here and i'm just going to do the front edge out here see if i can get that clean because possibly in maybe another month or so maybe right around thanksgiving maybe a little after thanksgiving i want to get one of those uh carpet cleaner machines and clean this whole carpet real good with a nice deep clean so i'm going to work on getting this done this afternoon i don't think i'm going to get it all done because i'm just taking a little break from uh driving right now i'm going to do this for about an hour or so and then i'm going to go back out in a little while so anyway that's where i stand today so later hey guys wanted to show you this as i'm going along here you can see how good this is coming clean as opposed to what it was looking like you can see why I just stopped right now for the time being here but I'm gonna keep on going here and then uh, what I'm going to do after I get that old edge uh, all cleaned up I'm gonna take some uh, distilled white vinegar throw it in a bottle mix it down dilute it with a little bit of water and I'm gonna spray that edge and what that would do that will help prevent the mold from coming back as water sits on there and it doesn't dry because that's underneath the you know eave of my uh, house here so when it rains and everything the water sits there and it doesn't evaporate you know very fast which is why the mold starts growing but if you take um distilled white vinegar mix it with a little bit of water dilute it a little bit and spray that edge down get that vinegar in there soak it pretty good it will keep the mold from coming back. Useful tip, you might want to remember later. guys well there you go stain is gone just need to let that dry then I will come out here and hit it with the distilled white vinegar concoction uh, now I'm going to go this uh, head here from my uh, pressure washer if you don't do anything to these they get rusted they get corroded and everything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this in the house I'm gonna wash it real good with uh, Dawn dish soap and then I'm going to spray a little bit of uh, lithium grease on the outside and on the inside and that will keep it from rusting. Another good tip. Later. <sighs> what is up guys? 
This always happens. Always happens. I don't know if you remember, but a few months ago, I cleaned out my garage so that I can get the Honda in here. I threw a whole bunch of stuff away, reorganized these shelves, all this stuff. Got everything put away real nice and everything. And lo and behold, which is normal for me in my life, I now need a bunch of light switches and plugs because I'm going to be re replacing all the ones in my dad's room. And I threw away, I threw away a bunch of switches, a bunch of plates, a bunch of plugs. Now I got to go buy them all again. When, when I had them, <laughs> I had them, I just got rid of them. I just got rid of them. Always happens. I could have something for years and years and years and years. And I decide, okay, I don't need this anymore. I'm going to throw it away. I haven't used it in years. And then, sure as, you know, a week, month, a couple months later, now I need a bunch of them and I don't have them. Same with the hinges. The hinges on all the doors from my dad's room, the doorknobs, I had, I had extra ones. I threw them all away. When I cleaned the garage, I just, I just threw everything away. I was on that thing, I was just throwing everything away. And now, now I'm biting myself for it because now I have to go and buy them all again. But anyway, it is a nice day. It is starting, the humidity is going down. It is getting nice. Tomorrow, starting uh, tonight into tomorrow, it's supposed to drop down to the lower 60s at night middle lower 80s for the next day tomorrow and the next day then after that's supposed to drop into the upper 70s at during the day and upper 50s at night man i can't wait open everything up get the thing aired out but it is it is a nice day the boner stick is up it is a nice sunny day i just cleaned uh the carpet out on the patio back there so taking a little break right now I was looking for some switches because I want to. There's one in the living room that I want to replace now because it keeps flickering on and off. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe it's my dad messing with me. <laughs> I don't know, but it, it just randomly flicker on and off. Randomly flicker on and off. So, but it, it has done that before. It's been doing that for a couple years. I just keep the main switch shut off. But uh, yeah, I wanted to replace that because I want to leave that on now because I'm starting to use that room a little bit more. Um, but I don't, I don't have an extra switch to put in there. So I got to do some ordering tonight, some plugs and switches. I got to go through count how many I'm going to need. And then I'm going to order a bunch of stuff and just have them ready for when I need them. Later, guys. Good afternoon, everybody. It is a beautiful day here in Central Florida. I think it's only like 79 degrees right now, 78 degrees. Uh, just ran up to Home Depot. I got me some paint stuff. I got the Kills uh paint for my dad's room maximum stain and odor blocker or that's the primer actually i've got the uh switches and the plugs that i need so i'm going to take these into the house put them with all the rest of the stuff that i have over there by his room because shortly here i'm going to be getting rid of the mattresses on the bed that way i can take down the bed frame fold that up that way i can start moving the furniture around to get to the walls easier so i can get them clean so i just wanted to tell you that later what is up guys i guess this is kind of like the calm before the storm it is going to be coming in from that way over there actually actually more that way coming across like that but it's clouding up it did rain a little bit earlier but then it stopped i'm going to go take my flag down now because it is supposed to get very 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 windy out here in a little bit it is uh 1 right now uh they said probably around three to five six ish is when it's supposed to get real bad so I'll keep you updated, but I'm going to go take my flag down now. Here we go. I'll show you guys 
see how bad it gets a little bit later. I might end up pulling the pole out of the ground too, depending depending on how windy it gets. So we'll see on that later. All right, guys. Well, it's here. Um, I just looked at the radar. It uh, looked like it weakened a bit, but it is getting dark. Getting a bunch of lightning, a bunch of thunder happening. Um, but, ooh. Yeah, it's been doing that for a little bit now. Um, there really is no wind. I can feel it. It seems like it's starting to pick up a little bit. But um, the, according to the radar, that, that red line is just about getting here. But it shrunk dramatically. I mean, it's just a line. So the storm is moving re really, really quick. It's starting to come down heavier now. I don't know if you can hear it. But... I'm not sure it's going to be as bad as they said, but we'll see what happens. I will keep you updated. Later, guys. Literally not even three minutes later, guys. Wind is picking up. Blowing pretty good sideways here. See the trees there? You can see it. Blowing down the street. I don't know. This might get pretty bad here in a little bit. But like I said, the uh, the line was not that big anymore. It was really, really wide when I looked at it earlier. It's now fairly small. So I'm thinking that this is going to pass fairly quickly. I hope it does. You can see, see the wave water rain running down the street there like that actually looks kind of cool <laughs> you can just see it see the wind blowing it down the street like that kind of reminds me of a hurricane showing up but we'll see what happens hopefully everything will be okay and be over quick and get back to normal after this front comes through, though, there's going to, it's going to get really, really cool. There's going to be a big cool front coming through where daytime highs are in the low 70s. Nighttime, it's going to be in the uh, lower 50s with lightning. Wait for the thunderclap. You know, that came, that came from over there. Which means it's already passed because it's going that way. So that lightning came from over there. So that could be a good thing. Could mean that we're already past it. I have not looked at the radar since this started real bad here. But this is what it is. Later. What is up guys? Good afternoon. It is a very, very windy, cloudy day. I still have my flag down. Because of the storms that came through yesterday it is very very windy today and actually it is on this knuckle on my queen palm i've had some stuff fall off already i need to get up there and clean that off which i knew i needed to do soon because i knew it was getting big and old and needed to be trimmed up but that piece just fell off so pretty sure it's time now to do that um, another thing I noticed with that storm that came through yesterday and with the winds that are going on today I have a screen in my uh, screen room lower section back in the corner looks like the end ripped out so sometime this weekend hopefully I can get back there hopefully just the spline came out I know a lot of those screens need to be replaced because they're ripped right at the edge where they're being held in by the spline. I know a lot of them are. That whole screen room probably needs to be redone, but I don't have a couple thousand dollars, so that's pretty much not gonna happen. I do have screen and stuff to do it. I just don't have any help. So, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna check that out tomorrow. Hopefully I can just do a quick patch on it for the time being and uh, address all that stuff later. But right now, I'm gonna grab me a bottle of water, sit down and watch some TV for a couple hours and then I'm gonna make myself some dinner not sure what I'm gonna have yet but I'm gonna make myself some dinner so anyway guys later 
Look at how cute. My new little coffee pot. It's just a little five cup. Mr. Coffee. First time using it. We'll see how it goes. I thought I'd show you that. She's kind of cute. <laughs> Later, guys. Good morning. Happy Halloween, people. Happy Halloween. It is Halloween. I do not like this holiday. I can't stand this holiday. Uh, just, it is very, very annoying to me. Just, you know, people coming to my house handing out candy. I haven't done it in many, many, many years. Probably since my kids were little. I haven't done Halloween at all. Never did like it. Probably never will like it. But it is Halloween. It is a beautiful day out here today, though. It's only, I think it's like 74 right now. It's going down to 57 tonight. The trick-or-treating hours around here are from 6 to 9, which leaves me with a dilemma because it's also garbage day, and I've got the two uh, queen-size mattresses, the mattress and the box spring uh, from my dad's room that I'm going to be throwing in the garbage, but I do not want to put it out uh, while the trick-or-treating is going on because... With the size of it, it's going to be hanging into the sidewalk or hanging out into the street. And I don't want any kids coming by, tripping on it, and then hurting themselves and suing me because I had mattresses out there. So I'm just going to wait till probably about 10, 11 o'clock at night tonight. And I'll drag those mattresses out and put them out then. That way everything should be safe. And I won't have to worry about anything. But yes, it is a beautiful day out here today. I mean, it really is a nice day. I love this time of year. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Anyway, I'm going to go watch a little bit of football, I think. Later. What is up, everybody? That was this week's Around the House. Uh, this week and last week. I'm running like two weeks together now lately because uh, for some reason I've been having longer clips which makes the videos longer. And like I said last week, I just like to keep them at a certain amount. So I actually have a bunch left over from this week too that are going to be in next week's. But anyway, guys, that's what I did. I finally got my uh, carpet cleaned out there in the screen room out there, which was pretty much the main thing I did in the last two weeks. Uh, got all that mold off of there. I have not treated it yet because it's been off and on raining and the carpet needs to be dry before I spray the, the vinegar solution on there. So it, it has been raining. It's raining today. It's going to be raining gloomy all day today. Uh, they said possible some bad storms coming through later uh, this afternoon and tonight. Um, hopefully it doesn't get too bad this afternoon. I got a, a job interview a little bit later this afternoon. Uh, one of a couple that I got coming up in the next couple days actually. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, I've been, I have been working on my dad's room. I did film some of that, but... I'm um, running out of time in this video, so I'm not going to be in this week. It might be in next week, maybe. I might just keep it all together, do one. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I do have a special video coming up. Hopefully, I can get it done in the next, I don't know, three, four, five days or so. I have been working on this video for months, to be honest with you. Um, it's a very uniquely different one, and coincidentally, with Halloween just passing, I've gotten... Uh, some suggestions to do the video that I have already planned to do and was in the process of doing. So it's going to be kind of interesting when it comes out, I think. I think it should be good. A couple different cameras I used. It's a whole thing. Went on site. Big, big production for me, <laughs> to be honest with you. For one person, it was a big production for me. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, Team C's. Great cause. Mr. Beast, very good friend of mine, Mark Rober, another YouTuber, a bunch of other YouTubers, Phase Rug, Darman, Arid, um, they're all supporting it, trying to get people to donate. I think as of right now, when I looked at it this morning, they were up to 13, over a little over 13 million raised already for it. They're trying to raise 30 million by the end of the year. So if you could go just donate, I mean, just if you just do one dollar. That'd be fantastic. One dollar will equal one pound of garbage taken out of our oceans and help saving uh, wildlife and all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's a good cause. It really is a good cause. So support them if you will. 
Link is down in the description. I might put it across the bottom of the screen here while I'm talking. But anyway, guys, that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Share this on your social media. Uh, another taste test challenge coming up on Tuesday. I know you guys really like those. Those are becoming a lot more popular lately. Um, so anyway, yeah, come back on Tuesday. Another taste test challenge. And that's it for this week around the house. I will see you next week. Later, guys.